Hi, I'm Kent Mayor Dana Ralph, and we're here with the weekly update for April 30th, 2021. Hard to believe that April is already over. I want to start with the 2021 legislative session recap. Legislature just finished session on the 25th of this month, and Kent fared really well in the capital project fund. So I want to say thank you to our delegation. We've got $3.3 million for the Downey Side Channel Restoration Project down along the Green River, and it's a habitat area for small salmon. We also received 560000 in capital funding for Memorial Park renovation. So that's the park that's down there on Central Avenue as you're headed north off of James Street. $2 million in funding for the proposed Panther Lake Community Park. When we annexed in the Panther Lake area, it's been over 10 years ago now, um, there's a, a definite need for a community park there. So we are working on putting funding together and the legislature helped us with about $2 million for that. Biggest news of the session is $3.6 million in backfill for streamlined sales tax mitigation. You've all heard me talk about this over the years when the legislature uh, changed the way that sales tax was paid to cities because Kent is a, it's a warehouse city. We're a logistics center. Uh, it used to be that we got sales tax revenue for everything that left Kent. The legislature changed that to sales tax going to the destination. So if something leaves a warehouse in Kent, goes to another city, that city was getting sales tax. That meant that we lost a significant amount of money. The legislature passed a backfill for that. And so we will be seeing those mitigation payments between now and 2026. So really grateful. Want to thank the representatives from the 11th, 33rd, and 47th legislative districts. All right, so we talked about it. May is here. That means spring is here. It's time for our annual spring litter cleanup on Saturday, May 8th at 9 a.m. We've got groups meeting at Kersom Park, which is right down here across from City Hall, and up on the East Hill at the Golden Steer Restaurant. Uh, we will have all of the supplies that you need. Come out and help us make our city clean and beautiful. Some really exciting news on the park front. West Fenwick Park um, renovations. So the park renovations are complete. There is an amazing playground up there. Um, if you haven't seen it on social media or had a chance to visit, I strongly recommend. It is a lot of fun. So there's new equipment. It's designed around the concept of chutes and ladders. You look at the pictures, you can see it's like a giant board game and the slides are, are the chutes, lots of places to climb. Great fun for the whole family. Um, strongly suggest you go and check it out on a sunny day. A little more serious front, there is a region-wide blood shortage. Um, Bloodworks Northwest has issued a code red alert due to the ongoing shortage of, um, significant shortage of blood affecting local hospitals and trauma centers all across the Pacific Northwest. Our partners over at Kent Station are um, having pop-up events and you can, you can look at their website or Bloodworks Northwest website to sign up to donate blood. I did it for the first time um, about two months ago and and I'll tell you, I was a little bit anxious, but in the end, it was a really easy process. And I felt like I had done something for my community afterwards. So if you are a regular donator, thank you so much. If you're considering it, I strongly encourage you to, to go ahead and sign up. And the Wienermobile is going to be at Kent Station today if you want to go and donate blood and check out that Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Um, just a lot of fun, but really it's around a serious cause. We need we need folks to step up and donate blood to, to help out our neighbors. Also want to pass along an opportunity that will apply to a lot of families here in Kent, the Immigrant Relief Fund. So applications for the COVID-19 Immigrant Relief Fund are open through May 15th. This fund provides low-income immigrant residents and their households with a $1,000 cash grant. You can check out eligibility and apply at immigrantreliefwa.org. Finally, um, our mask events, they're always popular. We had a great Don't Mess With Kent mask event a couple of weeks ago. We will be having another event in May. Announcements will be coming, so keep an eye on our social media for the date and the time. With that, I um, hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, get out and enjoy all the things that Kent has to offer. And remember, we are Kent. Kent.